In this video, we will show how Visible Analyst and Polaris can be used together to create a robust Agile development environment. Visible Analyst is our modeling tool which allows you to create a variety of different types of model artifacts including entity relationship, UML, and business process models. As part of the UML specification, you have the use case diagram which translates quite nicely to user stories in the Agile or Scrum development process. Polaris is our issue tracking and defect management tool, which when used together with Visible Analyst allows you to create an end-to-end -end solution for system development. With Visible Analyst you'll be doing your top high-level model design work, and then with Polaris you will do your uh, issue tracking and low-level implementation. The first thing we want to do is take a look at a use case diagram in Visible Analyst. And here I've created a very simple use case uh, which describes uh, the customer interaction in an online store. We have a customer and there are a number of activities or use cases, uh, send out books, buy books, put books in a shopping cart, and remove books from the shopping cart. So let's take and transfer some of these use cases to Polaris. Go back to our model list and choose create issues or user stories. Now this is not a feature exclusive to Scrum or Agile, it can be used in any development environment if you want to link your use cases with uh, actual issues in your problem tracking or uh, defect management system. So here we have a list of all the use cases that appear on this particular custom use case diagram. And I'm just going to choose a, a couple of those. Pick up buy books and put books in a shopping cart. When I transfer these uh, use cases to Polaris, I have a few options. One is to include the description, which is the brief description of the use case, or include the scenario, which is the full-blown um, scenario description of the use case. I can also choose to prefix the name of the actor to the use case, in case we have a number of use cases which have similar names. It's a good way to keep them um, separated inside Polaris. First thing we want to do is choose if I want to create a new issue set for these um, activities or user stories that will be transferring over or select an existing issue set. So I'm going to create a new issue set. I'm being prompted to add, log in to Polaris. And let's take a look at uh, the properties we create for an issue set. So let's give it a name. We'll call this um, example. Brief description. ID prefix is used for the numbers of the issues to differentiate them between different issue sets. So we can just give them any prefix you want. And lastly, what I want to do is choose the type of template I'll be using to create this issue set. And I have a number of options, traditional software development, Scrum product backlog, sprint backlog, and resource management. Uh, for this demonstration, I'll be using the product backlog. Click OK. And now I'm prompted to modify the properties for this particular issue set. And I'm just going to take the defaults. And now I've created um, my starting point of user stories in Polaris. If we go back to Visible Analyst and look at uh, the Visible Analyst repository, I'll take a look at this by books to entry. And on the links tab, I see now I have a uh, 
an issue that's been added to this particular use case. So we have a cross-reference between the use cases in Visible Analyst and the user stories that have been defined in Polaris. Take a look at what books and shopping cart. I should see the same thing here. Once again, another um, issue that's been created inside Polaris. And if I wanted to, I could open up that issue from here and take a look at the details. In the next segment, we'll actually take a look at the issues that were created from the perspective of Polaris.